Nah, so today, for 3,000 credits, we got the Chi-Com or Kai-Com Mechanized Rain, I don't know how to say that. Anyway, these, these SMGs, they burst. They're pretty much an assault rifle, but an SMG. Like, they, they can do assault rifle range, do decent damage. It's pretty surprised first time I used one. Ideally, you're gonna want a long barrel, more than a full grip on this gun, because it's pretty stable being burst. But it does need that little bit of a range boost, so that you can compete with assault rifles. Now, if you're not good at headshots, this gun is not gonna be good close quarters. It's gonna be like medium, medium to long range. Now let's jump in the game, test it out. Where are we going? Summit. I mean like, this place you'd probably be better off with a PDW or something good at close range that can still sort of do long range, but we'll do it anyway. Just a heads up, I haven't played in a while, so this is going to be rusty. I really hate getting stuck aiming down sights and then accidentally opening the map. I really got to change that position on the custom HUD. See that accuracy? Yeah, Lost I haven't played in a while. <laughs> There's not much personally you can do when the whole team is gonna come and hit up your spawn point like this. You can either use the invincibility time to get out of there, or you can sit back, try to get defensive and work your way out of there. Eventually, they're all going to be respawning and they're going to be running all the way up here and if you're taking them all out, you're out. Rather than panicking and running out like I need to get out of here like some of the other other players do. I'm going to pick this up just to use it for the longer range. It's not bad. Targets in sight. <laughs> Changing mag. I'm down. Need backup. Recon ready for deployment. That was online. That hive is my favorite special ah. You know, not going to take down so many traps like that. It's really handy. You know, they use it to just completely block them from spawning. So they have to run through it. You can use it for doorways that people have been going through all night. Heaps of stuff. Or you can just straight up spray it at the groups of people that run together. It's all fun. Enemy in sight.
This is why I use that perk. Because sometimes my kill streaks just don't change the I have to get the name of it, but it's pretty handy. It just means that it's probably going to cost you a bit more to do it, but you know, you're going to get the points at the end of the game anyway. I'm, I'd rather guaranteed, like, stealth drop or then maybe get in it. I'm gonna just chuck that there, they seem like they really want to get in the spawn point. We're probably gonna lose this, Enemy but, contact. Oh. Changing mag. Reloading, cover me. Man, have they changed this LK or something? This feels way different. Reloading. What? I'm pretty sure like, when I used to use it, it would kick. This doesn't feel like it's keeping the distance. Friendly stealth chopper in. Yeah, they're probably gonna stay inside now. And that's what I mean by you need that long barrel attachment. I probably would have killed them too. I had the long barrel. Oops. <laughs> Luckily, there's no friendly fire. It looks like I'm right now. Reloading, cover me. I'm down. Need backup. <laughs> what was my teammate just doing then? Running in the opposite direction. <laughs> Shooting the guy who's laying down next to him. It's sometimes makes me wonder if there's bots in multiplayer or not, because some of the things these players do. Contact with enemy. Anyway, GG, thanks for watching.